Um, hi, in this tutorial we are going to be exploring the new portal of Flavia, how you can navigate between the different buttons and pages of the website. So basically we will go to Chrome, so we will log into our Chrome, Chrome then we will type Flavia. dot basically with mouth lavia so you log into the scoop portal to google chrome and the, the portal is loading already so basically the portal is loading So once you log in, this is how the portal will looks like. This is how you look like. So basically, if your if your phone is not on desktop mode, you need to take it to desktop mode by clicking on the three dots at the right hand of the Chrome. So basically, this place you click on this three button and you take it to desktop mode. So mine is in desktop mode, so I'll leave it like that. But if yours is not in desktop mode, you can take it to desktop mode. You see, as desktop side is thick with white and green so you click on it and then you enter your matric number and then password to access your portal so basically i've logged in with my logins already so uh you see it has logged me successfully already so i will begin to navigate the portal so these are the new portal looks like for most of you asking how to register courses how to pay your fees and other charges in this portal you found it very because so i just uh record this video to show you is how to navigate between the portal seamlessly without stress so this is basically how the interfaces of the portal looks like it displaces your 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 student dashboard your information ranging from matric number your details and all of that so but, so diving into the as well if you check by the uh, the left hand there are the top left hand of the portal there are there are places for your profiles and the race of icons are also there are some buttons that will lead you to some pages so uh, basically you're going to click on we have the first one which is the dashboard and currently we're on the dashboard so we the second one is your is your school fee so you, you double tap on it on it once you double tap on it it's going to bring out a list of drop down list so this drop down list contains of your school fee and standalone and standalone in other words means other charges as you all know in the former portal so we if you want to pay your school fees you just click on the school fee so as we click on it it's loading and you as you can see it has load already so it, it has loaded already so basically you come to the portal and then you select your session so let's select the session and see so 2024-2025 academic section so i i choose it then my semester i'm going to choose a semester so basically we're in second semester so by default i should be choosing second semester so i've clicked on second semester already and then it's loading my details so uh as you can see it, it has loaded my details and it shows that my school fee has been paid already so and for the other charges you can see click on the same uh, icons to you know which is the standard then you you double tap on it to show you then and you click on stand alone for other that's for the other other charges so we click on it i've clicked on it so it displays over again so i will choose my session the session is 2024-2025 session so i've clicked on it so it's displaying a list of uh, other charges i'm supposed to pay on the school portal so basically i've already paid my school fees already so yeah for those of you that have no click you have no paid so you can generate your rrl i mean the remitter code here and then you pay here then after payment you can download as you can see there are options for downloading so these are basically payments that we are supposed to pay this semester so as if you log in the payment varies so it depends on which department you are so basically 
this is what I'm supposed to pay this semester. So, and having uh, done with this, and we move to the aspect of uh, uh, biodata. So, biodata, if you see the one that it has a question mark, is uh, that's your biodata. Uh, if you want to update it, and you just click on it, and it will load, and you update it. But I think that's not necessary. This because this second semester, I believe everyone might have uploaded or rather update his bio data already so having done that and so this is how the bio data looks like so and you can update it uh, as you can see my bio data have already been updated so uh moving forward we'll click on the the on the fourth uh, icons on our list which is academics so uh i'll we'll click on it and then and then click or you double tap on it again so that it will pop up then on the academic uh, buttons we see that we have registration and we have result and then we have pro choice of programs so uh, the registration basically mean the courses you are going to be registering at the course of uh, this second semester then your result as you know you can view your result there and then change your choice of program this is where you can be, if you decide you can change your program from any department to any department for those of you that want to switch your program so basically let's go with the uh with the registration so for those of you that want to register your courses by yourself and then you found it difficult on how to navigate the portal so this is how the registration port, uh, page looks like so you basically you just click on the uh, or by, uh, below the academic details i mean academic filters you are going to see academic section so you basically uh, choose your section which is 2024 2025 academic session you click on 2024 2025 academic session then you select your semester also second semester you select it then it's going to load list of available courses in your department note list of available courses in your department that does not mean all the courses listed you are going to offer them but it's just that is a list of available courses in your department so basically use and then leave the rest the one you are not taking so that's why they, they list the all available courses in your department not the one you are supposed to take only so basically you can also search the course you you are supposed to register so for instance let me search for csc three two six csc three two six csc two six six so basically this is uh this is the csc three two six is already here so uh let me register the course so for you to register the course you, you're going to click on this white box with ash uh, margin so you're going to click on it as i've clicked it it says it's loading my courses so it's registering the courses right away so uh, it shows that my course have been registered so after registering it will display on that then it will show you that registered courses so and the course i've registered as well so this is basically how to register so your courses so having registered your cost there is option for downloading of your course form there is also option to download your exam card so you can quickly download your course form or download your exam card so let's navigate the the school website on the portal that's on your self portal so basically there are also options there are also other options you can also go through in the portal so we, there are options such like for for accommodation so if you if you need house if you want to stay in the hostel you click on that icon i click it so if if you don't want you can go back and then click on So uh, this is how to navigate the portal and you, as, as I've said earlier, there are others, uh, there are self-service on the portal. So the self-service is this, uh, is this question mark. Uh, if you click on it, it's going to take you to a particular page. So whenever you have issue with your payments, like for those of you that usually 
do payment or on portal and then you notice that the payment is still pending and you, you are stranded you don't know what to do next the next thing is to head ahead and go to mis this new portal has this feature whereby you can basically copy the url or rather the the rrr the payment code you do you do you do the payment and then you paste it here let's say for instance uh the payment is something the code is like this i'll just tap a random code and then you verify the, the payment and then it's verifying the payment so you see that it's an invalid invoice so once you make you are sure that you do the payment and you pay it was successful according to your transfer but in the portal is not successful just copy the invoice number paste it on this and verify it then it will reflect in your portal that your payment has been successful now basically and then we have settings we have settings so you can click on setting to update your you know maybe your password your profiles your your, your some of your addresses or maybe probably your passport you can edit it through the setting buttons so basically this is how to navigate between the uh, Flavia portal, the especially, uh, most especially the new portal they created, and it's very, very awesome. Uh, it's nice uh, having the portal. If you found this uh, video is useful, I will, I would like you to hit a like buttons and on my YouTube channel. Also subscribe for more uh, video tutorial like this, and expect more from us at Base Learning Academy. We are here to help everyone and. You are no exception and we are grateful to have you. Do not forget to like and subscribe and then turn up the notification bells for other videos just like this.